Good morning team. As you can tell, I got the Ab Ripper, Heck, uh, Ab Ripper X hair going on. Um, so, today, day 12, it is flying by and I, I can tell you why. I've got great team members. Um, I'm actually running two groups. So, one, I have an open group. Don't don't want to get into all the beach body, a little bit skeptical about Shakeology, recovery drinks, all that type of stuff. Uh, I have an open group. Come in and join me. Send me a message. Me at coachgshort.com. Um, I'll send you the link, get you going. Have a great, great team there. Also running a, a challenge group. Basically, get a small group of people and we commit to one another and we really push each other to get the workouts done and, and really talk about what the challenges are that we're having and, and really keep everyone motivated. So that one is we're very dedicated. We're going to follow the beach body plan to a T um, and really push ourselves. So either way you want to go, I, I can guarantee you that uh, either one's good, but my challenge group, that group of people, Fantastic, fantastic. So, so, discussion came up. Recovery drink. Now, the first thing I want to say on the recovery drink is you need to have one. It is so important to get something back into your body 30 minutes after your workout. You are, you're going through, you're burning all those energy stores, all the sugar in your body. You're doing it every single day um, if you're not putting something back in your body shortly after a workout your body's gonna burn out so as you can see my recovery drinks just about gone that's my that's my preference um, other people I've heard anything from Greek yogurt with fruit chocolate milk to Gatorade now I am going to advise against anything any lick any uh, anything that's containing fructose. Uh, you can uh, look up uh, fructose and the, the issues with it. Basically, it's really hard for the body di to digest in, in large quantities. And unfortunately, uh, high fructose corn syrup, that just fructose in general. Uh, fructose that's not with fiber, so your fruits are good. Fructose without fiber is bad. It is very hard for the body to digest. Um, I hope everybody is listening to me. Fruit juices, as good as they taste, as much as vitamins as they have, I totally hope that you're going out and researching what pure fruit juices can do to your body and how hard it is on the liver. Won't go into that too much. <laughs> what I want to go over is uh, the recovery drink. So a lot of people have said chocolate milk. Highly recommend chocolate chocolate milk over a Gatorade. Um, really what you're looking for is a carbohydrate protein blend. The P90X uh, results in recovery has a four to one blend. There's, there's a lot of talk. I couldn't find one conclusive uh, discussion of a two to one carb to protein blend, three to one, four to one, eight to one, 12 to one. It was all over the place. So the reason I remember, rem recommend the P90X results in recovery is that's what I took. It, it worked for me. I mean, you go to my website, you'll see the many results. That's what I used. Um, doesn't work for everybody. It's, you know, different people, different results. But, like I said, it worked for me. That's what I recommend. But whatever you do, one, first thing, don't ever take someone else's word for it. Go out and research. Go out and, and hit those blogs. There's, there's t plenty of opinions out there. There's tons of research. And there's tons of opinions. Go out, research for yourself, figure out what works for you. Whether it's P90X recovery drink, whether it's chocolate milk, whether it's Greek yogurt with some fruit, get it in your body. Get that protein to carb blend in your body so you can bring it 
You can get those muscles, get the back muscles, lose the weight. Um, I can't say enough about the program. Stick with it. Find a group, whether it be my group, someone else's group. Just get going. Every day is a step forward. But if you don't take one step forward, you're not going to get there. And as we get older, unfortunately, we're taking steps back. So if you're taking steps forward, that slows that progress back. It helps with everything. Watch, watch things. HBO has a fantastic, fantastic uh, documentary. I recommend the first two episodes. Three and four are good, but the first two episodes are so important. They talk about getting out and exercising. They talk about if we've been overweight, what are some of the challenges that we're going to experience? Why is it that our bodies can't handle eating the exact same food as someone else that's not been overweight before? It's so important to understand your body. Listen to your body. But most important is finding a program, whether it's walking around the block, P90X, Shaleen Extreme, Tai Ching. There's a ton out there. But the most important thing is keep pushing play. Keep going every day. This is an uphill battle. Like I said, we're always rolling back. Let's do this thing. Let's get healthy. Let's grab a friend. Let's have them join us. We have a huge issue in this beautiful country, across this beautiful world, and it's time for us to really make a change in it. Together we can. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I haven't bored you got a little uh, crazy there with the fructose talk and everything, but let's bring this, let's find this group, come join me. It's a great, great thing. And until next time, keep pushing play, dig deep, and have a great day.